Hey, what's up guys? Hello and welcome once again to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oklahadeth, and we're going to be covering an infection map. This is the Legend of Ahab, Mingo's Mask, and it was brought to you by the Burb9 and Confused Flamingo. Uh, so these two guys are really well-known forgers over on Forge Hub. They've made a lot of maps and they have a lot of experience, and they tried their hand at this map, and this is going to be a linear style infection map that plays very well. It's very well structured. I love the theme, uh, and it has a lot of cool aspects. So right now we're going along the main channels. You can see it has lots of cool cul-de-sacs where you'll find weapons. It has a turret here, which is counterbalanced by the fact that zombies can drop down on it, which you'll be seeing later. Um, and the map progresses from high ground to low ground, always giving advantage to the zombies who are chasing after you, uh, which you can see right here. So this map is very good. Um, I like it a lot. And one of the key areas is going to be over here where you can hold out. It has a nice collapsed rock formation here. Great aesthetics. And it's kind of like a giant pit where the humans have to hold out in. Uh, with the help of rockets and all that as the zombies jump in from all directions pushing them back and the humans have to hold out until they can move through that shield door um, and so they have a cool technique of uh, spawning in another shield door that allows you to move forward but we're going to go ahead and go back to the very start of the round so you can see zombies are jumping out the initial spawns are right above the human spawns and that is very clever it helps prevent the humans from camping out at the beginning because the zombies will always be able to have a height advantage over them they can run out and jump over them uh, immediately what you should do is grab the sniper, grab the shotgun, grab whatever you can and move forward. Uh, and at all times make sure you're checking your back because these zombies can drop down at you at any point. Um, what you can see right there is the humans who are being left behind are getting picked off. Um, if you grab the sniper what you should do is get in this position here and cover the retreating humans. So the sniper obviously is going to be best used here. Uh, and here I score a nice double kill protecting the last of these humans as he falls back. So what you want to do is make sure you pull all the humans back with you. Um, and always check your corners. You can see right here, um, even though I'm checking right next to me all the time, I was blindsided just as that zombie came down. So make sure you have another person watching your side, watching your back at all times. Over here, we're once again in the beginning, and I want to point out that nice aesthetic opener where the falcon drops down, hits a mine, and explodes. So it kind of gives the idea that you were traveling you know, in a falcon with your group, and it crash landed here in this city. Uh, and on the top left, you can see what goes on if you stay here for too long. So you will get slaughtered if you stay here. The zombies will keep spawning right next to you, you'll run out of ammo, and you'll die. So make sure you collect all the ammo you can and move along and keep going. The game type for this is uh, it's called Left 4 Ahab. So they kind of tried to do a Left 4 Dead style linear map where you move along, try and get ammo, and then you make your way to a safe house, which we'll be showing you towards the end of the map. Um, and they do a great job of forcing the humans back. As I said, it's all downhill, so from the start, zombies get a height advantage and from there they push the humans further and further back. Uh, a teleporter system will also allow them to spawn further along the map in order to keep putting pressure on the humans as you move forward. Uh, along with the game type there is a custom power up at the zombie initial spawn which allows them to get a uh, essentially a tank who has more health and does more damage because in this version humans will take multiple hits to die. Right there you can see the tank making his way over so you want to make sure you focus fire on him. Uh, moving up here, this is going to be another area you might want to sit with the sniper, pick off the zombies, but watch out, the humans um, you know, have to cover your back right there, they did just that. Picked off that zombie that had the drop on me. And over here you're going to be seeing this main area here, it has a health pack on the left, and once that yellow light spawns that means you can go through. Now the way they did that was they spawned a second one way shield door which allows you to go through um, this door which is very ingenious. Um, it looks cool, it's an awesome aesthetic touch, uh, and I love it. Once you're in here, you're going to want to pick up all the weapons, health you can, um, because otherwise the zombies will keep spawning, keep pushing you. So grab all the weapons you can, and move further along in the map. Uh, here you can see the humans are getting slaughtered, so you want to grab your shotguns and keep sprinting down this hallway. Uh, your main objective is to make it to the safe room in the back of the map. So over here you can see you know, more of the zombie spawns. This is an incredibly difficult map towards the end, so what you want to do is race your way towards the final safe house here. Uh, which is cool, a crate will come and block it, and here you can see these sort of eerie etchings on the side sort of saying how long they've survived here. Uh, so guys, once again, this has been Oakley High Def with the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is a great map. Make sure to like the channel, subscribe, and check out this map. See you guys out there.